Israel, yeah. 12 tribes of Israel. So let me let me just hit you with something real quick. Let me hit you with something before you go. Before you go. All right. So now look. So now look. Let me hit you with something. So you said something that was real important when you first came up. You said Christopher Columbus did not discover America. That's right. He didn't. The actual first so-called European to come over this way was Leif Erikson on the parts of Nova Scotia, up in Upper Canada. That's right. That's Leif right. Erikson. Amerigo Vespucci came over here in the latter times around the 1100s. 1200s and he was a Roman navigator that's what America is named after Christopher Columbus landed on the island of Hispaniola in 1492 with the Nina the Pinta and the Santa Maria now watch this let me hit you with something first you got to understand something on the island of Hispaniola according to the Bible right when you look at it the island of Hispaniola is two nations Haiti and the Dominican Republic the scriptures say Levi and Simeon, the so-called Haitians and the Dominicans are brethren. Instruments of cruelty are in their inhabitants. So what do they worship? They do what voodoo and they do Santeria. So when Christopher Columbus came over there, those roots go back to the Levitical priesthood. So there's a little bit of history that you gotta, you gotta get that history as well. So these people right here, right? The black man, Hispanic man, the native Indian, the people in the islands, the Caribbean, all of us went into slavery at the hands of the so-called white man, divided and conquered by white men of different languages. And that's how they keep us today. So the black man doesn't know that the Hispanic man is his actual brother, right? We brothers, we're not, they look, we, we all look like that with different shades of brown. That's right. You know what I mean? With the native Indians, a lot of us don't know, like this brother right here, if you see him, you'll just be like, that's just a brother, there's a, yeah, a black man. Every, 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 but he a native every, Indian. Yeah, with every, every race, if you if you have a baby by any other race, ninety percent of their baby gonna come out black. Right. You got black Chinamen. You got black. Native right. You are who your father them. is. It's all about the father. The Abronesians, all of them. Right. Right. It's all about who your father is. Exactly. Right. So now you know this. What's your name, King? Because now you know about the charges. My What's name you? is Many Nations. I'm Mi Isaac. Isaac. Okay. Let me holler at you, Isaac. Give me some. All right. All right. Got a spiritual name, right? So now you got to come learn with us, bro. Come build with us. Are y'all Israelites? We Israelites. You is too. You is too. You're Israelite? Your dad was a so-called black man? My dad's name is Solomon. Okay, but I'm saying was he, was if he filled out an application, what would he call his name? What would he call himself? So you from Judah, because Solomon was from the tribe of Judah. That's right. So that's who you are. You are Israelite from the tribe of Judah. 
That's real important, King. That's very important that you that you know that. So come build with us, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my info. Let me get this brother the info real quick, cause I don't want him to leave off and I don't get it. So you can touch on that. Yeah. Let me. Uh, we're gonna bring out some scripture real quick. We're gonna come. This is the book of James, chapter one and verse one. Bring it out. James, a servant of the Most High, and the Lord Yahweh Shahamashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. See it right there, he letting you know that all the 12 tribes, all of Israel have been scattered abroad. Not one part of the world, not another section, half of the world, but upon the whole world. So if you go anywhere in the world, you will see that we are scattered in all parts of this world. You know, in Canada, we're there. In Europe, we're there. In Britain, we're there. Down in South America, we are there. So no matter any island or anywhere, we are there. So when it comes to us being scattered, Israel is all parts of the world. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. See, and these are the words that he's saying that Moses from, came from the Most High. He spake unto all of us, our whole nation, letting us know that what pertain to the most high that told us what we had to do in these latter days. Read King. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments. No, I just attended they teach us in them good time services. To do all his commandments no, do half of the ones, the one, the four that's on the side of the spiritual end. To do all his commandments Read. and his statues, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. See, right there, he letting us know that if we don't do come back to our law, statutes, and commandments, then we're going to be upon all them curses. Bring this out for you one time, brother, you get out here. All right, bring it out, King. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 But it should come to pass If thou would not hearken Unto the voice of the Lord thy God To observe to do all his commandments And his statutes Which I command this day That all these curses Shall come upon thee And overtake thee See a right there he let us know That if we leave our law statutes commandments You know eating the righteous food You know saying wearing our perfect Our holy attire you know, not growing out our beards. That's all the fringes that you see all of us wearing. That's, that's commanded in Numbers. You know, Numbers 15 and 38. Matter of fact, he will bring the least of the commandments. It's the book of Numbers chapter 15 and verse 37. Read. And Lord, so like, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Throughout their generations. No, just through part of their generation. Throughout their generations. No, I can wear zits zits instead. Throughout their generations. Read. And they put upon the friends of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be a fringe. So lucky. And it shall be unto you a fringe that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments. No, just some of them commandments. All the commandments Read. of the Lord. And do them. See right there. Is the, once again, he's letting you know we can't just pick and choose what commandments we want to do because that's what the good time church tell you. Oh, all the commandments have been done away with. We only got to do the two. Right. You know, we only got some of them. We only got to do. We got to honor. Well, right there, he told you throughout all your generations. So how long is all? That's forever. A lot of churches they be uh, celebrating a lot of uh, holidays that. Uh, most I told us not to celebrate uh, the ways of the heathen. And the ways of the heathen because he gave us a whole nother set of high holy days that we're supposed to honor. You know, but instead, we want to follow the way of the heathen and be like them and then get destroyed like them. And you got a precept, King? They doing what they're they doing. They're supposed to do what they hate us. That's, because that's they job. don't have the law. That's their job to hate us. All right, bring it on, the book King. of Jeremiah, chapter 10, and verse 2. Read. Thus said the Lord, learn not. The way of the heathens. No, go ahead and do Christmas because that's what they do. Learn not the way of the heathens. No, we're going to go take our gun and celebrate New Year's, what they so call call New Year's. Learn not the way of the heathens. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathens are dismayed at them. For the custom of the people are vain. 
are vain. Hmm. They are dumb. They're ignorant. They have no understanding. Read. For one, cut up a tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workmen with an axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. Hmm. What what wicked wicked thing do we do when we cut a tree out the forest and deck it with silver and gold, King? What, what holiday would you think? Holiday would you call out? Right? Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. See right there. And he letting us know. And we, everybody, oh, I got to go. I got to get my kids this. I got to get my kids that. That's idiotic. He said, don't follow the ways of the heathen. How much how much banner can he be? The most high didn't put it in a parable. He didn't try to talk in cold. He told you flat out it's vain. It's ignorant. Don't follow the way of the heathen. But yet, once again, Israel, you know, we put aside our most high, our power, and we just, oh, what do you do? Oh, you gonna put a tree up? Let me put a tree up. Oh, you gonna pop your gun out in this time? Oh, we gonna pop our gun out at this time. Oh, you gonna put fireworks out? We gonna put fireworks. No! Don't follow the way of the heathen. Just, just idiotic. You know, them things right there, you know, you just got to understand that it comes a time when you got to get back to the truth, you know, because the truth will set you free. Once you know the truth, you know, if I know that my man over there, when I come over there, you know, and he going to kill me when I walk through the door, is you going to walk through the door? No, because you know the truth that if you walk through that door, he going to kill you. If you know that pork will kill you, if you eat it, it's going to cause high blood pressure, hypertension, and, and destroy you and cause disease in your body. Should you eat it? No, but our people, we follow the ways of the heathen. Because, see, they don't have the laws. They don't have the dietary laws. Sisters, they be like, well, that's for my kids. With them, you want your kids to die? To die? The ways of the heathen. You said it right, bro, to die. To die. Because if you don't follow these laws, that's a commandment. It's a twofold thing. Not only are you going to die carnally, but you're going to die spiritually. So, you know, you got to follow the ways of this book. Come back to our law, section and commandments, and do the will of our power. Go ahead, King. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and 15. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curse shall that be in the city. See, right now, if you look over here at McDougal Terrace, I mean, it's not even, you know, fate of the eye to see that we ain't living the greatest. Them ain't condos. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got the greatest living condition. But yet, sitting still, instead of us coming back to our power, we want to sit here and be the way of the heathen. And then we want to sit there and thank the white man, the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? Look at how he treat us. They say, oh, 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 let's forget the ways of the old. Let's just start new. Okay, when we start new, this ain't start new. This is the way our forefathers lived before that. And our forefathers before that. And our forefathers before that. If we keep going back, I guarantee you, since the curses came upon us, we're gonna go through the same thing over and over again. That's right. So why we wanna continue to live through the same conditions over and over again? What did they say? That's the uh, repetition of, uh, what did they say? Uh, insanity. insanity, the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again, and expecting different, different results. results. That's right. Okay, but we've been doing the same thing over and over again. We've been going to these so-called church houses with these modern day Pharisees feeding us with this same old garbage, not reading the Deuteronomies, not even telling us the true look of our Messiah. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yet we want to follow them. They telling us this is our Messiah, but then in the book, it don't even give us that description, that account. So who should we believe? I'm going to believe the truth, the book. Bring that out, King. Isaiah chapter one, verse five. Bring it out. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint. See, right there, he letting us know the whole head is sick. Why are we sick? Because we lack knowledge, like he brought out earlier in Revelations 1 and 3. You know, Hosea 4 and 6. Because you don't know the true way of the Most High, we will begin to follow anybody. But they say if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything? Right. Huh. Well, what is that all about? It's a true saying, because look, our people, they say, okay, it ain't going to do this. It ain't going to do that. Look, you're going to the store. We're on the Sabbath. Today, of all those that don't know, today is the Sabbath day. Sundown Friday to sundown Saturday is the Sabbath day. So if you don't observe the Sabbath, 
We're breaking the law. It goes back to first time three and four, transgression the law. You think the Most High is happy with us transgressing the law? No, it's an abomination. Once we do that, we got the, the wrath of the Most High to deal with. And that's where we're going back to these, these uh, curses. Go ahead and read that curse in, uh, in Deuteronomy 28, uh, 16 again. Curse shall that be in the city, and curse shall that be in the field. See, and once again, curse shall that be in the field. Tobacco fields, cotton fields, you know, potato fields. I mean, even in the work field. Right, you want to yeah. bring it up now in the work field. Hey, McDonald's a billion-dollar franchise. You got people that ain't even making $10. Minimum wage, seven fifty. dollars Like bro said, you know, at the end of the day, we got to open up our eyes and understand the work feels the same way. We the, we the last hire and the first fire. Oh, we're moving in a different direction. But why is they always moving in a different direction? With Israel. With us. That's right. You got this guy making six figures. Doesn't make common sense to say that I'm going to cut his salary and keep him on at $10 an hour? Because that's not, that's not coming out of my pocket much. But yeah, you want to keep this guy with six figures. And then you want to cut 10, 20, 30 people. But doesn't even equal up to his one salary. For market and profitability. For market and profitability. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, Israel. You know, we died because Hosea 4 and 6 is lack of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Hey, go down to third uh, verse. All right, go ahead. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 54. Read. So that the man that is tender among you and very yeah. delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother. See, right there, he letting you know that in the hood, you know, we look around, it's a lot of killings. Why is those killings? It's because it's envious and covetous. You know, they envy what a brother, oh, brother, you got, oh, you got some nice jewelry. Oh, man, I'm going to go ahead and stand behind here. As soon as you come over here, I'm going to go ahead and get mine. But why though? Why? Uh, because one person run, you know, walking the dog, they probably got about 10,000 sitting in the bank. You don't even look that way. You okay. know what I'm saying? But yeah. the reason why is because his eye is tender among his brother. He's you know what I'm saying? It's a curse. Sad. It's yeah. going back to these curses. Yeah. Hey, go ahead, read, King. And towards his wife of his bosom. And toward the remnant of his children. See, right there, he letting you know. How many of us do you see with a two-parent family coming up? Well, even on child support. Or even on child support. You don't hardly see none. The woman is ahead of the family. Why would that be? That's backwards. Too. That's backwards because that's confusion with what the so-called white man does. Go ahead, read. Which he shall leave. See, and he's letting you know, you're going to leave your family. It's a curse. So it's not like we see, we think like, oh, because he couldn't deal with what was going on at home. He couldn't deal with that woman. He couldn't deal with his children. No, it's because the most high cursed us. Right. That's why it ain't got nothing to do with what we do. See, what it is, is we try to put it carnally. We think with the carnal mind. Oh, it's because the most high. I mean, it's because, oh, uh, he couldn't deal with it or whatever. No, our mind can't even wrap around why half the stuff happened. Hey, go ahead, go up to 37, though, because I want to definitely... Get out of here, those brothers. Read that one. All praise, all praise. All praise, King. I'm already late. Yeah, we appreciate you, and we appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate y'all about being right here. Me, I'm learning something. Mm-hmm. I'm always learning. I love to learn. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 37. Read. And thou shalt be cut in astonishment. Astonishment. A proverb. A proverb. And a byword. See, so you think about it, you know, Afro-American, you know, from there to nigga. To, you know what I'm saying? Color. Black yeah. to color. I mean, how many more? You know what I'm saying? And our Issachar brothers, which is the so called Mexican, you know what I'm saying? Wetbacks, you know? It was savages. Savages. Aztec. Aztec, you know, then you go the Native Americans. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how many bywords, proverbs, and astonishments, you know, that we're going to have to beat? You know? I mean, at the end of the day, you know. So you I'm, think so? So I guess we're going to ride to the top, man. They come down with the leadership. I mean, we got to come back to our power. Once we come back That's to our power, when, crisis gonna come back? when we come back to our power, we got to get the elect number. That's what it's all about. It's all about us coming back to our law, statute, commandment. We need more brothers like you over here. Over on our side. That's Not right. on there that you know the word and you hear the word, doing but it. be a doer of the word as well. And that's when we'll come back to our power. Go ahead, bring that precept. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. Read. Yep. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. See right there he letting you know that once we get back 
to our book, our playbook, that we're going to be set above everybody. Because there was many a times in the Bible where the Most High would set us up above, but then we would go off. You know how we do. You know how Israel go. Oh, I got a thousand dollars in my pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and do this and do that. We're gonna do all this. And the next thing you know, like for instance, that hella day we were just talked about in Jeremiah 10, you know, hey, we did Christmas, but then rent due on the first. Yeah, bro. But you done spend all your money trying to please your children, trying to please your wife, right, trying to please everybody, but then you ain't even go ahead and make sure you had a roof over your head. Oh, but then party on New Year's too. Oh, we're gonna party on New Year's too. Day, the same day the rent due. Hey, that's but that's how he do it though. That's how the heathen do though. The heathen set you up back to back like that. Oh, not only do you got to do this so-called hell day when Christ was born, well, there's even no account in the Bible when the Most High, when when Yahweh was born. But we gonna give you this account. We gonna say he was born that day, and then right after that, oh, by the way, this is the beginning of the new year. Which that ain't even the beginning of the new year. That's death. Winter is death to all plants, everything. Look at the tree. Spring is the life. So, I mean, you look at it, I mean, they just backwards all the way around. But if you don't understand that, Hosea, we destroy for a lack of knowledge, then you won't understand that you're just going to follow anything. Like we said, if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. So we got to get back to these playbooks. Go ahead, bring it on, King. Let, let me get the final book, because you, you said you're about to feel, so I just want to bring this to you. You got the information and everything, though, right? Oh, you already on it. No, I, 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 I. Revelation, chapter 22, and verse... 14 blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter into the gates through into the city and right there you're letting you know that blesses those that do it not just hear it not just read it but also got to do it because if we read it and we hear it it's only one more part why not do the other third you know so that way you can enter in because if you just read it and you hear it and never do it, then you're gonna be just like the heathen. You're gonna get destroyed. Let me hit you with you something. Know? Let me just let me back right up with you. It's better for you to not even have known it. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's than better to know it and not do it. Do, it. do uh, stupid stuff then to see it. Right, yeah. You might as well you're gonna be cold, be cold. But if you're gonna be warm, you're gonna be you're gonna be hot. Yeah. Be hot for the most hot. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, we yeah, do this all the time, bro. This is it. Luke warm. Luke warm, he gonna treat you. Who wants some hot ice cream? So I'm telling well, you, bro, a, a frozen steak that's already cooked. So I'm telling you, bro, you know hey, hey, go ahead and reach back so out to so King, man, because King got something good over here, man. Yeah, you know, I, he's I, he's dealing with the most high, and the most high is for sure dealing with this yeah, king. I, I read yeah, it. You I know what I'm saying? I, I, it's a laser like, for everything. It is. Yeah, you know? And then everything has a season as well, and too, King. Funny, we set that up the first day I met you. Yeah. And we were just, we talked it up for like, yeah. about like two hours. Yeah, it was outside the town hall. Yeah, outside town hall. Chopped it up for like two hours out there. Yeah, and man, I was there. Yeah, no, man. You know. Yeah. I, I respect. Hey, I respect you and y'all doing. Hey, man. man. This hey. is the utmost respect. Hey, man. We appreciate you for listening, man. Being humble in the spirit, how, listening. How often y'all be out here? We come out here every weekend. Every weekend. Every weekend. Around this time. Unless we go dealing, or well, you know, to another location, trying to wake up some other people. But we be right here, man. Right here, and then we got the live classes. Jump in on those. Yeah, you know, yeah. Anytime you want to do like a little personal study hall, got questions, whatever. Got all that. to some uh, camps, man. So right. Yeah, I put you on. I put you on there, so where all the information. So you can find me direct, man. So yeah, man. Hey, yo, get that brother in hand, man. Get that brother in hand. Man. Thank you, too, man. All right, man. Y'all stay up. Stay blessed. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All right, we'll go ahead and give them some more milk. So let's go some more of them curses in Deuteronomy, though. Right. Great you know what I'm saying? Great hey, all praise. Hey, thank you, too, King. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's, hey, that's what the most I say. Two are better than one. Two are better than one. Matter of fact, you give me that. Let's give me two, King. Two are better than one. Let's give me The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Read. Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. In what? In hunger. What else? And in thirst. Now think about that now. Everybody that's on WIC, that's on the assistant programs, that give us juice, that give us oatmeal. We're, 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 literally, we're learn, living in hunger and in thirst. Right. You know, we're getting them, them that government assistant with the food stamp program. We're like, we had that paper food stamp. Now we got that old EBT card. You know, at the end of the day, we serving our enemy, which is the so-called white man, in hunger and in thirst. Right. Because we seem, a lot of us seem to have to cleave on to him for everything in want. 
And then to make it even worse, once this all happened and they boiled down and they say, okay, you gotta take this shot. Oh, if you don't take this shot, he might say, okay, we gonna cut your food stamps. Mm -hmm. We gonna cut your assistance. Mm -hmm. We gonna cut your wick. Mm -hmm. Your kids ain't finna get no formula. Mm -hmm. And then what you gonna do? If you don't come back to the power that these kings right here is bringing out in this word, it's gonna be a problem, Israel. So up. we need to come back right now to our power. So that way, we'll have something to stand on. We'll have that rock that the Most High built his church on. Go ahead and finish it out, King. And in nakedness, and in one of all things. See, in nakedness, once again, these clothes. Because I don't know nobody that's in the nation of Israel that have their own clothes press. And housing. And housing. Bring it out, King. Because clothing, clothes, when it says a covering, and in house to cover thy shame. God. That's, that's your housing, too. God. See, and that is housing. So we don't have, we don't own any housing. Yeah, we might own little small pieces of property, but guess what? We pay a property tax on it. So honestly, do you ever own anything? Are you always paying, uh, having uh, insurance on your vehicle, paying property taxes on your vehicle as well as your house or your boat, all these things? So at the end of the day, we never own anything, Israel. Right, and they can come take it at any They can time. take it at any moment. So we need to come back to our power so that way we can be set on high once again. Like we said, go ahead, King. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he had destroyed thee. So what group of nationality of people have had the yoke of iron can truly say, not them Jewish people, you know that so-called got killed with Hitler. No, Israel was the only group, the only nation that got destroyed and put a yoke of iron on it. You know, this is something we can't make up. We reading this right out of the King James Bible. But hey, it's up to you, Israel, to read. So with that being said, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And we'd like to thank the Most High for allowing us to bring this mighty, mighty word out. You know, and we're going to go ahead and give it over to the next powerful speaker. All right. And we're going to say, Shalom. 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 All praises. All praises.